Hey y'all, it's me, Malibu Darby. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking about skincare again. I'm in the process of trying to get my like skincare routine products down for you guys, but I received something in the mail today and I immediately was like, ooh, I wanna try this. So, um, before we jump to the video, if you're interested in learning more about beauty, skincare, those kind of things, please hit the subscription button below. Also hit that bell so you can always know when I post and let's get into it. So today in the mail, I received this product here. This is the Cure Natural Aqua Gel. Just so you can kind of see that packaging. If you are a skincare addict like myself, then you know that um, Asian skincare is usually like light years ahead of what we are doing here. Um, so Korean and Japanese skincare routines and products are things I'm always looking into. Um, so Cure Natural Aqua Gel is actually like one of their top rated skincares. So what this is, it's not something I'm looking at to actually like replace products that I have, but it's like an exfoliator peel that helps the products that you're currently using actually help penetrate your skin so I have quite a few of the products that I'm going to be testing out today so I have the natural aqua gel itself and this is a pretty large bottle and it does say that you only use it um, a couple times a week so I feel like this should last you a while I also have the skin cream I have it in this smaller size and then I have it in this larger size and they do note that you can use this for face feet um, or just full body care so I'm assuming that's what this larger size is for and then I have the cure bath time which is bath salts that they have you dissolve into the bowl during the process now a lot of like Japanese skincare can be a little bit intimidating because it's normally a lot of steps but I did get this cute little instruction sheet and this says it is only three steps to doing this process so i am like super dry bare face i did like rinse my face i don't have any makeup on or anything like that um because it says to first wash your face thoroughly and then dry it completely then i'll be honest with y'all I'm, I'm a little nervous because from the videos i've seen apparently this is supposed to make like a ridiculous amount of dead skin and you actually see it coming off in the process so i am interested to see how weird this gets so it says to pump this product three to five times on your fingertips i'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can really see what's happening here get into the pores okay so it says to pump three to five times on your fingertips so let's do i'm going to go with five because more is more let's see okay oh that's watery let's see focus there we go two three four five that is super watery then it says to apply to the desired area and rub for 30 seconds so let's count for 30 seconds hey siri set timer for 30 seconds okay your timer is set for 30 seconds okay i do feel little balls of something starting to happen here. Is that my skin? Okay, so that was 30 seconds. And oh, I'm still rubbing, don't rub. I see. I'm assuming this is dead skin because I don't know what else this could be. Um, so after you rub it, I'm trying to let you guys really see what's happening here. So it says after you massage in for 30 seconds to rinse well with water. So I'm going to rinse whatever this is off my face and I'll be back. Okay, so I did rinse my face. I did like rub it in even more as I was going to the bathroom because I was just really like, is this my skin? Like I examined the little balls and they didn't seem like they were just gel. 
So I know it is a peel kind of effect, so maybe it's like an active peel where it was actually taking my skin off, which is kind of gross, but actually a little satisfying. My face does feel squeaky clean. The next step is to use the Cure Bath Time. It says to dissolve one fifth of a package into a bowl if you're doing your face. I'll be honest, it's kind of hard to tell what one fifth is, so I might have put too much in here. And what this is, is natural rock salt. So I will show you guys, I was super surprised because when I think salt, I just thought like white salt, but this is like gray brown salt, if you could see. Yeah, this is like gray brown salt. Um, so the water is actually dark um, that it's dissolving in. And then it says just to splash it on your face, like, one of those commercials. I will say, it smells very natural. Um, if you are a smell person, it doesn't smell super pleasant or fragrant, uh, but it says when you put a bundle of this into your water, it will become like non-polluted sea that is rich in minerals. It'll make you feel refreshed and ready for tomorrow. And it definitely smells natural. So I think I've dissolved this enough in my water. I just have a bowl of water right here, um, just so I can kind of do this in the process with you guys instead of having to like do it to the bathroom and come back and forth. So I guess I'm just gonna splash this on my face. Let's see. Splashing stuff on your face seems so hard to me. I don't get it when they do that in commercial. Okay, this is definitely salt. It's salty. Mm -hmm. And I guess this isn't weird because if I was at like a spa or something like that, they would probably do this for me. I want you guys to just see how dark this water is. I know it's kind of hard to see in my bowl, um, but it's like gray black from the salt. This is salt, it's, I know, it's like, I didn't expect it to be, I guess, taste like salt. So it doesn't say how much to splash on your face. I just wanna make sure I kinda get it all on my face. Definitely not in my eyes because it's salty. It doesn't say to rinse, so I'm not gonna rinse it. Um, and then the next step is to take an appropriate amount onto your fingers of your skin cream and apply it on your face. It says water will come out from the gel and then you just massage until it's fully absorbed into your skin. So I'm gonna put a decent amount. I'm so thrown off by the salt thing. I've never had to do this in a facial routine, but maybe this is like the secret that I've needed to perfect skin. And then it says just to gently massage until it is fully absorbed. And I'm not even a person who needs my like skincare to be scented. Um, I just didn't expect such a natural scent, I guess. And the salt is kind of throwing me off a little bit too. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my face. And it didn't say to dry my face off after the salt, so. Or to rinse it off, so I'm assuming there's a method to that. And you can use this, like I said, in your foot, like foot bath or in your bathtub. I will probably do this in my foot bath just because I feel like this salt, like when you soak your feet, would be super like relaxing, exfoliating. Okay, so then so after this, this is supposed to be like your final step in this particular skincare regimen. And you're supposed to do this a couple times a week. Yes, this says do this twice a week um, so that you can remove those dead skin cells and the products that you do use, like your serum and stuff, can kind of go deeper and be soaked up more in your skin because you don't have those dead skin cells. Okay guys, so that is it. That is literally just me trying out this Cure Natural Aqua Gel. My skin does feel cleaner. Um, I will say I never am going to be like this is amazing. This is perfect as soon as I try something one time I'm intrigued. I have never Had a peel Like an activated peel that removed dead skin like that. I have never had this salt bath facial situation So I'm very intrigued by that. I feel like this all um, Together 
make sense uh, and it has to have kind of a method to the madness. I mean, my skin is soft. I think it's just different. And I think, like I said, if you're someone who kind of is into skincare, you know that different cultures and different skincare lines can do different things so they're all not super traditional or what you're used to. It's not just a face wash and a moisturizer. So I'm definitely intrigued. Um, so I'm not against trying this again and doing it twice a week to really see how this helps my skin. Because again, this is how big this bottle is. And you just saw how little I used even doing the five pumps like they recommended. So I feel like this could last me a pretty long time. So yeah, I'm gonna do this twice a week in um, addition to the other products that I'm using. And we'll just see from there how this works. Um, I'm gonna be posting additional details on my Instagram at Malibu Darby. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm really like, hmm. I didn't know what to expect, but I'm I'm intrigued. So I'm gonna keep this up um, and I'll be posting on my Instagram as well as probably doing some community posts here as I continue to use it and just get an idea of how it's affecting my skin, how the product is working. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.